uh, I need to issue a disclaimer and an apology. Uh, from this point on, there are characters that have custom skins. Though, for the version that I'm using, I've actually removed the majority of them, excluding the ones that I know for a fact that the creator knows that I'm using them as a placeholder, and are at least not opposed to it openly. Uh, but the disclaimer is mostly there because there are custom skins from this point forward. The apology is that to everybody who's made these custom skins and the reason I'm issuing it is because I didn't have permission prior to making the mod to use them even as a placeholder so I, I just need to make it clear that I'm sorry about that uh, after I'm done streaming today I go in I'm gonna plan on going in and taking all of the custom skins I don't have permission to use now out so that you know, I'm not stealing anything. Because that was never my intention to do that. I was just being... No, I, I just felt like it needed a little bit more variety in appearance, so I added a few workshop skins, and then... Uh, I never even expected it to make it to this point where there are actually people making things for the mod either. So is that when a custom skin does show up, uh, there are only two that I've left in. Uh, I'm going to give proper credit to the people who made them. Uh, and then, you know, stuff like that. So path two. This honestly might be the hardest one, but we just need the Book of the Velvet Ants. We have Harvest Office. I know that Michael is wearing the wrong gender of skin, but that's all right. <laughs> so we've got four people here, Michael, Edna, Ember, and Skatheth. This is a 4v4 reception. And these guys hit pretty hard. This is a reception designed by Grim the Reaper, a very old friend of mine on Twitch. He, ha he made my... Uh, the freaking uh, profile picture that I use, in fact. And he's a pretty cool dude. And I asked I asked him specifically if he wanted to make an office and I or a reception, and he said yes, so he made one. And it's pretty cool and very much difficult. So I'm going to start at the end because the, it gets progressively more threatening the further left you go. So first off, Skatheth, who has... Not the least HP, but definitely hard. Uh, first off, Bloodlust. At emotion level 2 or higher, once per scene, gain 1 strength next scene on inflicting bleed using a combat page. And Coagulation Point. At emotion level 2 or higher, if this character took damage from a bleeding opponent in the last scene, gain 1 Endurance this scene. And then Adrenal Overload. Gain one haste next scene at a 50% chance on inflicting bleed using a combat page up to two. And then she also has Mosquito and Jagged Implements, which were previous passives. Then we have Ember. Every member of this office has Bloodlust and Coagulation Point. It, it is scary once they hit high emotion level, trust me. Uh, but Ember has Bloody Shrapnel. All offensive dice on ranged combat pages inflict one bleed on hit. And she also has Empowered First Shot and Jagged Implements. Edna has Hemophiliac. On inflicting bleed using a combat page, inflict one bleed to a random enemy. Then also has Blood for Us and Jagged Implements. And then Michael has Grim Harvest. Offensive dice gain plus one power against bleeding enemies. And then deepen the gash and jagged implements. So their combat pages starting off. Grim Harvest. On use, draw one page. It's a 3837. This is also where light restore and draw starts to become more common because you kind of need it. Oxidizing Blood, a 2-9 on hit, restore 2 light, and a 4-5 on hit, inflict 1 bleed next scene. Hello, Fungus. 
reap what was sown. Unused, restore one light. All dice on this page lose two power. It's a 511 on hit, inflict two bleed. A 410 on hit, recover three HP, and a 59. Uh, if you factor in the power loss, it's a 3928. Three seven. Oxidizing blood is really good. Uh, Exhumation slash a two nine of aid on clash win gain one stagger protection next scene. Five eight on hit inflict two bleed next scene and a three five. Uh, Crimson haze. It's a six nine five seven. Combat start inflict one bleed to all bleeding enemies this scene. So all enemies who currently have bleed gain one more. And then Let It Rip, which is a meme title for the page, but it fits. Combat start, all offensive dice, inflict one, bleed the scene, and gain one haste next scene. It's a 6 to 10, on hit, inflict one, fragile next scene. And a 3 to 6, on hit, recycle this die until it rolls the minimum value up to three times. And then a 3 9 evade. All of them are scary, for the record. Also, that is exclusive to her. Ember has Marked Bullet, which is just a single use. On hit, inflict two bleed, on hit, inflict two bleed. It's a 4948 with a 1 to 6 of aid, which isn't that great, but it's fine. And then Floating Cyclone. Exhaust this page on use unless the target is bleeding. Then it's a 3 7 on hit, two random allies gain one stagger protection next scene. 814 on hit, two random allies recover 5 HP, and then a 2 to 6 block. Edna has Sickle Slash, which is a 3 6 inflict 2 bleed, and a 3 9 inflict 1 bleed. Uh, and Hemophilia, a 7 11 on hit if the target is bleeding, recover 10 HP and inflict 2 bleed on 3 random enemies, and then a 4 7 block. This is very similar to Uncanny Strike. I mean, who would have guessed? And then Michael has his exclusive Death's Decision. On hit, deal stagger damage and inflict bleed this scene equal to one-fourth the target's bleed and inflict one bleed next scene. So 3-9 evade, 6-9 pierce on hit if the target is bleeding, recover 7 stagger resist. 3-8 block and then a 2-4 slash. This die is rolled four times. Oh yeah, the hook office card arts fit. Oh yeah, they all have speed, by the way. So not only is this a 4v4, but you're on even footing. What is that card? It's an exclusive gold, so it's not really as powerful as it looks. Oh yeah, Michael has four light at the start, so he, he is programmed never to click death's decision on scene one. Uh, I made that exclusively because it would be kind of broken if he did. Now, Hemophilia is not going to do much. These guys do specifically target the enemies who have the most bleed, I believe. So, uh, none of them are using their exclusives, at least, so that's good. I have to be very careful here, because this is going to hurt no matter what. Ooh, that's, a, that's actually good, because it means I'm going to be able to discard a lot. That being said, that marked bullet is going to hurt me. Uh, oh, right, because of uh, resilience, I don't get my burn right away. That's okay. We're going to focus down uh, the one that's the most dangerous, so Michael. <laughs> he is definitely the most dangerous out of these guys. And then we'll just have to figure out a way to block the rest, because this is going to be painful no matter what. I don't expect that to hit. That's not the point. Uh, that's not a cla- Oh, hold on. No, I can't even redirect that shit. Uh, this is like- Great Harvest is the one you don't really need to worry about, thankfully. And since I'm not bleeding yet, I don't need to worry about hemophilia either. I am going to take quite a bit of damage, though, probably. Oh, hey, Wheel of Time. Uh, can't use it, but it's still nice to have. Yeah, we're just going to target him, mostly. He is resistant to all blunt. 
Welcome to the star of the city fight, where everyone is just as capable as fucking you up as you are doing so to them. That is basically the point, yeah. Uh, I tried to make it with that in mind, because I knew that this is going to be the part where people are expecting difficulty, so I tried to give them difficulty. Do I use juicing? It does a lot of... No, I think I just had strong strike, because I need to keep my HP up. I know there's a lot of attacks that I'm not contesting here, but mostly because I couldn't redirect them anyways. And our resilience is going to do a good job of keeping our damage taken to a minimum, thankfully. Ooh, it went through because of Jagged Implements. That's fine. Ow. That's okay. That's also okay, because I didn't actually take any damage there. Six burn on him. Whoa. That's a lot of burn. I'm about to get Death's Decision, probably. No, wait, he did an emotion up. Never mind. We're fine. That's good, actually. Now, I also didn't really emotion up, unfortunately. Oh, Edna has no good pages in hand because no emotion. If I could stagger him this scene, that would be great. I can re- My lights are going out. I have a, a light in my kitchen that's on right now, in case anyone was questioning. I don't know why you would be, but that's not the point. Uh, I don't have enough burn for salamander spray to work. So I think I use blowing out candles and then lighting up so I keep, yeah. That one strength is hopefully going to carry me, because this isn't going to be... I shouldn't clash with that, right? Let's see. Oh, your hand suck. Oh. It's actually not bad, because I can desperate business whoever I want, so that's good. But unfortunately, I don't have anything else. This is a bad hand. Uh, I can just redirect the oxidizing blood, I guess. And rapid healing against that, even though I know it won't work properly. Uh, I mean, you're asking for this, Emma. <laughs> Let's be honest. I can't do anything else, but she's asking for it. Oh, I forgot to block the... Ah, that was a lot of stagger damage, sir. Ow. <laughs> That's unfortunate, because now I probably won't stagger him. Thank you, Desperate Business. What? Oh, because I'm bleeding, he has plus one power. That's bad. <laughs> now, on the upside, we do have Ego now. Oh, <laughs> come on. Ego means that we're going to be able to have better... Wow, this is bad. <laughs> Let's pick self-loathing and give it to you. And then... Oh my goodness. Uh... <laughs> Okay, we'll rip that guy, I suppose. Um. <laughs> now, I know why they're targeting him so much, and it's because he has nine bleed, whereas everybody else has zero. <laughs> There's not really anything I can do about that. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> He has died to... Why is this happening again? Oh my goodness. Uh, I do need to stagger you before you do anything. He he is the only person not targeting the staggered guy. <laughs> Which I guess works out, because he's the guy I'm targeting. So that's good. And since I'm not bleeding, I can clash with him. He should definitely die this scene. I need... <laughs> I need... <laughs> Freaking, uh, I'm, I'm gonna redirect some of this just because I don't want to get hit by everything. Also, Ember is the next most dangerous here. I think I just use Desperate Business even though it doesn't spend the charge. I don't really mind because my hand right now is not very good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Juicing. That was actually a decent damage, even though you resisted. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, there he goes. 
He's still alive because of the protection from uh, Borrowed Time, dude. Also, there wasn't a death's decision there, which was weird. He's dead to burn. And there he goes. And that's technically the big threat gone. <laughs> um, This is not going to help. That's a lot of bleed already. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, they're all using Crimson Haze, huh? Bro! <laughs> Pardon me? You didn't get his book? That's okay, I have console commands. It doesn't matter. Well, I mean, four power on that is pretty decent. Do you have... You don't have anything for Floating Cyclone. This sucks. I mean, I'm fairly confident you won't get staggered, but it still sucks. You have something for Floating Cyclone. So I guess you take it, and then... Oh, that sucks. I want to use this because damage, and then I want to use this because damage, I guess. Uh, and then we should target Ember because she's dangerous. I have Slash up. Does that have Slash on it? It does, but I don't have enough charge for the effect. That's fine. Skill issue, high lore. No, it's gain one haste on inflicting bleed gold. There's a difference. Don't care. Thank you, rocking line. <laughs> I love how high that page rolls. I just took a bunch of damage from that one Apno page, and that's okay. There's the stagger that we needed. I don't think... Yeah, she's not quite dead. That's okay. Ow. Ow. Six bleed! Swamp boat. Uh, ecstasy, definitely. Ecstasy is a mass attack. Of course I'm gonna pick it. Uh, who should use it, though? You, because you have nothing else, coward. Uh, I haven't seen the others use their big attacks very often. Probably because they don't need to. A moderate amount of haste gain. You also have two strength now. Cool. It's from the Abno page plus Bloodlust. Uh, this is awkward, I would say. Because I need to somehow stagger you now. Easier said than done. Ecstasy will kill the last guy. Do you have enough charge? You do not have enough charge for Desperate Business. Uh, we're killing Scatheth next. She must go. Good. Get that off my screen. Good. Perfect. For Ace actually being a thing on more than three pages and passives. I know, right? It's weird. Haste is something that I think the vanilla game was very much neglecting. Okay, this is gonna hurt. But that's okay. I can just maintenance work it. <laughs> Sorry, something got caught in my throat. Very fast Malkuth right there. Five cost desperate business. Let's just not do that. <laughs> Actually, I can carry K on it and then do it. I have no light for that. Okay, turn back the clock it is. All right, there we go. That should be it, honestly. That was... Okay, she just got all of her HP back. That's fine. Get out of here, Edna. Imagine where you'd be if you nerfed Rocking Line. Uh, probably in a similar situation. Ego is where the game starts to lean heavily in the player's favor, in fact. I can post P. She's dead. Okay! <laughs> Vanilla has some haste payoff pages and, like, no actual haste gain. I know, right? It's weird. This is the funny one, Gold. And Startup. Chesed's third abnormality is called, uh, Only Human and Mar Marionette and Only Human. It's actually two abnormalities. But, uh, th th this is probably the stupidest abnormality page that you're ever gonna see. And it's called The Plot. Single ally, gain an additional speed die, D 
deal plus two to four damage with attacks against enemies. The speed die with the highest speed becomes uncontrollable, targeting random characters including allies playing a copy of The Plot. Cost zero, it's a pierce zero, six to ten, on hit inflict five bleed next scene. Very, very weird. Very weird combat page. Ironically, probably the best of the three. Uh, <laughs> Next we have friend and enemy, which is a tier one green. Single ally, if this character redirects an attack from an enemy that was initially targeting an ally, that enemy takes three to five damage from attacks from other allies this scene. So it's like a weaker version of Road Home's thing. And indentured servitude. Single ally. At the start of the scene, a random other ally gains marionette status for the scene. At the end of the scene, the ally with marionette gains one strength next scene for every five damage taken during the scene, up to four. Yeah, the plot is a meme. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 